and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some winter ezreal first deck of the day we got a donation deck fueled day today you can see we got all viewers submitted a list this one is going to be splashing freljord in an ezreal deck uh, using the frostbite spells to level up ezreal which we got some good ones with our brittle steels and our harsh winds in particular harsh winds is two abilities for ezreal same with static shock so those can really help Ezreal uh, level up fast. And then you have uh, Ice Veil Archer being a nice um, Ezreal ability. Also, to be able to help slow the game down, because of course you want the game to be going really long with Ezreal, because you just want a long drawn out game where you just combo kill them. We have Braum being a really nice speed bump um, uh, against other opponents. And then Sejuani. But Sejuani is just such a powerful card. And... Um, Sejuani's playability does help level up Ezreal too, so that even works as well. Got some extra card advantage with the progress days, of course those static shocks. Couple rummages uh, to rummage things around as well. Starlet Seer can make some allies really big, which that could be awesome with Ezreal, like, you know, having like a 4, um, you know, like a 4-6 Ezreal or, you know, like a, I don't know, a 4-9 Braum. You know, like Ezreal and Braum both... Uh, work great with Starless Seer, so that's pretty interesting. All right, well, let's get started. Let's play some games. We're going to go play five games over in rank today. Looks like we're back down to the bottom of Masters after uh, yesterday not doing as well. We'll see how we do today. See if we pick it up with some of our decks today. All right, so we're playing against Ash Sejuani to start with. Okay, well, this is a pretty decent hand. Um, it's not like Ice Veil Archer isn't really something that we need to play on turn two. Tavern Keeper is just kind of a good blocker against like their three mana three three. I think I'm just gonna mulligan this Ice Veil Archer and keep the Tavern Keeper. I don't like. Okay, cool. Ice Veil Archer's back. Like I don't know if Ice Veil Archer is really a mulligan. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Legendary Teemo? Especially with, uh, you know, like with us being an Ezreal deck where we get, um, we get one out of the eight level ups with Ice Veil Archer. Maybe it just shouldn't be a mulligan. Just gonna be passing on turn two though. I'm not gonna just play Ice Veil Archer immediately and just waste its value on turn two. All right, so that's two things for the Static Shocks, which is the good news. The bad news is they're gonna have an extra, um... okay, cool. They're going to have some extra large creatures thanks to these Omen Hawks. Because each one of those is 3 power and 3 health across different bodies. It's a little unfortunate that I didn't get to use, you know, I had the gotcha at two mana, and it was just kind of a better play to play the Ice Veil Archer, and now gotcha's back up to four mana. A chill in the air. Okay, no Elixir of Iron. That's good. Leaping into action. If it's 
a fight they want. Just keep clearing the stuff up. Yeah, this isn't... Yeah, Winter Ezreal here isn't anything new. No, this isn't... This isn't, like, a brand new concept or anything. Okay, a couple of five fives. I'm going to pass the turn. Not and ready. I'm playing that port two kind of changed my my plan. I, I wanted to play progress day this turn, but I guess we're just going to be doing this. And okay, well we're definitely going to be harsh winsing now. Hot on the trail. I give you. Stay back. Ready the torches. Let's talk about your tab. I think we can take five. It's either take five or have our three three die. And I think we can fairly easily take five. So we do have leveled up Ezreal whenever we do find Ezreal. So we could rummage away the mushroom clouds. Um, it is nice to have those mushroom clouds for whenever we have a leveled up Ezreal, but I guess we are a little bit of ways away from seeing that. Maybe I should rummage these away. It does give us a, you know, another Starless Seer ability. Uh, I basically wanted to save... I didn't want to use Thermogenic Beam at just one mana, to be honest. Okay, well, definitely got punished for, for wait. Okay, so that was just a bad play on me by... Like, if I just rummage first, I draw the Ezreal. Ezreal can attack and create a Mystic Shot, and I can Mystic Shot that other thing instead of using the... Um, instead of using the Gotcha. losing this game. Let's not ruffle our feathers. They walked around. Like Captain Farron making a bunch of decimates for to take more damage. Anyway, I want like throw a jug beam for like Sejuani. It could be really scary.
Three different champions of that progress day. All of them costing less mana now. That's a pretty good progress day. Not a bad one at all. Alright, so down to nine. <laughs> that is some progress. I think we're gonna be winning this one. We'll we'll see. Could top deck like reckoning, something like that. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, Gleo. Yeah, dude. that was a good 180 there. Looking bad for a minute, but finish that out, and there we go. One zero. The Winter's Claw with Winter Ezreal. Yeah, the the harsh winds were awesome for us. Those were those were definitely really important. Harsh winds were really good. What I think of the deck that we're playing now, this deck's pretty good. I and mean, we all, you know, just got the one, one game so far, but that definitely felt good. Um, like I said, Harsh Winds was a huge key, but so was Brittle Steel, uh, just helping us stay alive, helping us win at combat. Both pretty important. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna Mulligan Ezreal, and I, I don't know about Chump Womp. We're going to mulligan jump one too. I'm going to keep Sejuani. Sejuani doing its awesome thing and just kind of see what else we get to fill out the curve. Okay. I guess I have to Thermogenic Beam right now. I don't even really want to throw a Genic Beam that thing, it's just... Look, if I don't play it, we're going to have 6 mana towards a Thermogenic Beam. Next turn, right? Like, Thermogenic Beam's going to get really bad if I don't cast it with this hand. Alright, nice fill. Let me 
see what I can do. Save this. Do I have a deck called like Zed's Fortune, maybe? Yes, I do. Okay, I have a good I have a thumbnail for Zed's Fortune. Cool. We're gonna call this Zed's Fortune. Um yeah, we're gonna play this. Alright, nice Phil, got that saved. You're just passing turn with eight mana. Okay, sounds good to me. We'll pass turn. Soldier to me. Resolute. Uh, I don't think I need to brittle steel. Let's see. We're gonna have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll have nine cards in hand after I play Chump Lump. So Azrael's at three. Still has quite a ways to go. There's a chill in the air. R R. Ride onward. This is fun. Yes. Let's just kind of see what happens here. Okay, so that's just gonna be a 6-2, so that'll trade. It's probably worth a Brittle Steel to keep a 4-3 alive. That's worth a Brittle Steel. Four threes are pretty good. Will be served. All right, Lucian's out of here. We got the Harsh Winds uh, for the Radiant Guardian. But then we also just have a Sejuani that's larger than Radiant Guardian as well. So these are going to. It's going to hurt. Right on. Time to get rowdy. This is mercy. These are going to hurt. It's going to have one, two, three. They're putting Lucian over. Okay, yeah, because like these are. All right, so these aren't going to level up Lucian. I 
Ezreal's at seven. Can't really block anything with that. Show them our teeth. Oh, I, I should have blocked this. I should have blocked this with a 4-3. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I could have had 3 damage on the Radiant Guardian. That's my bad. Well, technically 2 damage. So I could have had 2 damage on the Radiant Guardian. Yeah, that's that's my bad. I will end this here. Uh, Brom couldn't Brom couldn't block the fearsome things, but because because of, of the Sithria, Brom couldn't block those things. Okay, one life. We'll hopefully be able to do one damage. Hopefully. It seems like we'll be able to. I think we'll be able to do one. Okay. Do you know? The Witcher's Claw triumphs. Should have just blocked the the O six with the the four three, and then I would have had lethal after the take heart. I wouldn't have had to, you know, go to the next turn and have the static shock. But that's all right. Still got there. Um, so, yeah, Callista, you can kill Callista outside of combat when she's leveled up. She's still just a 5-4. Or inside of combat, you have to do the, like, direct damage. You can block Callista with something that would kill her and then do enough direct damage to the, uh, her ephemeral that is, um, binded with her or whatever the word is. I kind of want to keep that Harsh Winds. Harsh Winds has, has been awesome. I kind of want to keep that. It looks like we're playing against another aggro deck here. I wonder if I should have. Like, we already have, like, some good early stuff, and we have a couple of things where, where we would be able to Harsh Winds. I don't want them to have the Plunder turned on. Normally, I'd just be taking that and playing Starless Seer, but because of Plunder. Who goes there? Looking for trouble? It found you. I can kill. I can use both thermogenic beam and brittle steel to kill that. So it's probably like if I attack and they block, it's probably not worth it. Victory at any cost. This would be a good. 
Solid winter. Uh, excuse you. Um, I don't think I don't think the spoilers will be starting next week because next week they said that Riot, all of Riot is like taking a vacation next week. So I think it's starting the week after that, the week of the seventeenth. Is when we'll have our first previews. That'd be my guess. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. I wish I would have had. I think I wish. Yeah, I wish I would have kept harsh winds. Harsh winds would be nice right now. It's like if they play something else, I don't really want a nine nine damage of the slippery wave rider with thermogenic beam. Uh, because the Slipper Wave Rider is the biggest threat right now, and so I didn't I didn't beam the Misfortune because we're gonna have to because I need to kill the Wave Rider. If we can kill the Wave Rider, then our Ezreal can uh, get in and hit them. But we have to kill the Wave Rider. Could be Noxian Fervor to kill Ezreal. Okay, they're just doing the damage to me. Oh, and killing Ezreal both. Double Noxian Fervor, that's pretty nice. We'll have to figure out a way to take down this misfortune some other way. Um... Yeah. This means I won't be playing Tavern Keeper and Static Shock. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay, so next turn I have eight mana. Could do like double static shock next turn. I wanna go Braum and make a three three. Only card I was really scared of. My shield is my sword. We should be friends. Remember the objectives. The few for the many. Really wasn't anything else in their deck I was scared of except for another slippery wave rider at this point. Like that's Perfect. Great, great mystic shot draw. So we can go static shock, static shock, and mystic shots to try to kill this thing. Four damage on the wave rider. Hopefully it works. And two damage on Misfortune. Awesome. That was a big time draw with that Mystic Shot. We should have something that's pumped up pretty good with the Starless here. I have my orders. I think. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd say that's pumped up pretty good. These old eyes still see far and clear. Come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? Croak if you work, burn if you don't. Okay. Okay, GG's. See? Trust wrong. Hey, what's up, Codex? Welcome to the stream for the first time. Hope you're having a good Friday. We're having some fun playing a bunch of donation decks today. Our Winter Ezreal decks looking pretty strong with the 3-0 to start with. Especially for me. As far as like my playstyle goes, Ezreal is not really my playstyle, and I've I've traditionally really struggled with Ezreal decks. So the fact that we're doing uh, you know really well with this one, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Oh, thanks, Codex. Yeah, uh, found us over on YouTube. Well, awesome. Well, yeah, glad to have you here. So we're going to, I think, keep all these. Chumpwomp is going to be pretty good in the Ezreal Twisted Fate matchup. We can rummage away two Mushroom Clouds. I could also just simply give them all the Mushroom Clouds, to be honest. They're going to draw a lot of cards. So I guess they draw a lot of cards from my deck, though, don't they? Hmm. Maybe we don't keep two Chumpwomps. i just keep one. Ugh. Whoa, Geo Leo, gifting out a sub, Santa Geo. I'll get some hype votes in the chat for Codex, our new sub. That's, that's really cool. Oh, thanks, Loki Beast. The sub rock got me good. Loki Beast, a great stream. Actually tries brewing and new decks and not just focused on a climbing. <laughs> exactly. It's it's a lot of fun to try a whole bunch of new things and really, you know, go to the edges of what Rune Terra Legends of Rune Terra has to offer and really explore everything. I enjoy doing that and, and trying to give y'all different different options and and everything instead of just the same tier one decks. There's a million other streamers playing the same tier one decks that you can check out anytime. So yeah, this is uh, usually usually I wouldn't think it'd be good to play Ezreal just right away in in the Ezreal mirror where you know like both players are playing removal, but I don't really have any removal in my hand, so yeah. Sounds dangerous. I'm yep. in. Gotcha. I think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. I'm I think I'm gonna be uh mulliganing this ice fill arch or like rummaging. I'm gonna be rummaging the ice fill archer most likely. And maybe some of like these brittle steels and stuff. Like maybe we just rummage. Sure. Brittle steel and ice, ice fail archer. Like ice fail archer is definitely like, like this kind of deck. You know, like all their static shocks and mega rains. Like the the ice fail archer is not really going to be helping. It's going to be dying. It's dying super fast. All right, I still have my three spell mana. They have more mana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept the pass. I didn't waste any mana. We can still mystic shots. 
this Ezreal. Um, and he's a brittle steel here to keep plunder from being turned on easily. Going to go ahead and do that. No way. Where do you stand on cold shots? We see through all. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. All right, so this will be seven for my Ezreal. Ah, an auspicious season. Back to a perch. There, Ezreal's at three. There are two Ezreals down. Anything else? <laughs> uh, so they, they rummaged away. You, you'd think that Riptide Rex would be awesome. You're like, why would they rummage away Riptide Rex? We're one turn away. But um, I think the reason why they did that is because that was they drew a fleeting card with the Pool Shark. And so I think that was the, the fleeting card with the Pool Shark. That would be my guess. Give us some Order from here. Cool. No Riptide Rex. No nothing to no pilfer goods, no black market merchant, nothing like that with the plunder cards. That's good. Hmm. Just not my best use of Sejuani to kill Pool Shark, right? Like it doesn't seem like it. start doing some work I thought you'd never ask. they're still at 20 so not very close to not very close to killing them with gotcha. yeah by just going mystic shot upstairs we'll just kill this thing Just one, 
One going towards Ezreal. We can accept that. Um, so they are 14. I can just take one. All right, put this in front. I don't know if it's the best use to play this gotcha, though, like right now. Like, it may be. Yeah, before it costs four mana. Alright, so they're at 12. So each Mystic Shot is 4 damage. Alright, so that's 4, 8. Uh, we only need to do another 4. And that's what, like, Gotcha and Brittle Steel can do that. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. No, because they, they can kill Ezreal in response. I shouldn't just fire it all off. Cool, we'll play one mana gotcha. Remember, I do have the backup Ezreal in hand with this Mystic Shot. And so we should be able to play the other one and have the Spur Speed spells to finish the job. Okay, so that's game. With burst, um, they had to like I don't know take my kindly tavern keeper or something. I don't know what they could have had. Hey, good looking, back at you. There we go. All right, we're four and zero. Four and zero with Winter Ezreal. Good. Okay, GG's. Twisted Faint Nautilus. Twisted Faint Nautilus. Keep it. Pretty good hand. Pretty good cards. Yeah, so this could definitely be tough with their units getting super big. Like later on in the game, we're going to need those harsh winds. Uh, the good thing about this kind of deck is they don't really have removal. Um, yeah, I like this Iceville Archer for later. They don't really have removal, so if we can get a leveled up Ezreal. Will be good uh, if we can have enough spells, of course, to kill them. I suppose we need that as well. Ooh, 
Mystic Shotgun. Play the I don't love like Tavern Keeper without getting any value from it, but they're not doing anything. Was that the jettison was that the card that Coral Creatures created? If so, that was a great creation. Vault was yesterday, yeah. It was yesterday. I did get one card from my vault that I didn't have the three of in my collection, Karma's Insight of Ages. Didn't have a three of that one in my collection. So my opponent's deck does draw a ton of cards. I kind of want to just give them the Mushroom Clouds, honestly. Because <laughs> they just draw so many cards. I kind of want to just, just throw these Mushroom Clouds their way. Let them draw a bunch of Mushrooms. Because, you know, like, these things are... Like, if I save them, if we get a leveled up Ezreal, then they can be two damage. But, like, there's a chance they're going to be more damage than that anyway. Especially for how this game's shaping up. Yeah, just especially they're they don't have that many cards in, in their deck. Good chances are worth more than the two damage each. Anyway. See, there's two already. Draw more cards. There's three. Still not playing anything? No puff caps. They're, they're lost. Yeah, the mushrooms on cards that get tossed are lost. So it's not necessarily the best because all they have to do is draw one card and then this thing gets plus three plus three so then it'll be a three six so it'll still be able to hit me and draw a card. But instead of just using nine mana on a thermogenic beam for that. Um, I don't know, am I just gonna harsh winds this turn? Do I just let them draw two? Chump Bump's a good draw, get more Mushroom Clouds. More Poison Puff Caps. At the ready. All right, they're also down to four. I don't know what PNZ and Bilgewater has that's gonna stop two Mystic Shots, like what, what they would possibly have that'd stop two Mystic Shots. I don't, I don't think they have anything. Two spell mana. I don't think there's anything.
Yeah, they were just too slow. They didn't put anything out there. And I was just kindly tavern keeper aggro. <laughs> kindly tavern keeper aggro, getting it done. All right, so there we go. That's a 5-0 with Winter Ezreal. Okay, it's been a little bit since we gotten a 5-0. It's been a few days. Uh, yeah, there we go. 5-0 Dream. Um, pretty nice little deck here. I mean, Brittle Steel, Harsh Winds. Both of those were awesome with our Ezreal deck, slowing the opponent down. Chumplump was really good with the Mushroom Clouds, either giving them to the opponent like that last game, or most of the time rummaging them away uh, to go find more cards. Um, the Sedjuani was good. Um, Static Shock was quite good. Uh, yeah, everything, everything worked out just fine with this deck. Pretty nice little deck here. So there we go. That's Winter Ezreal. First time, that, that could be the first time that I've like done really well with an Ezreal deck. Honestly, it could be. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, thank you, Nakano. Yeah, this was Nakano's deck. Thank you. Glad, yeah, your deck did great. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. I always appreciate those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Winter Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.